White paint white is white because it reflects most light rays away green. from it. The penalty it pays for this apparent purity is that it absorbs almost no light into its own body. And for lead white, at least, this means that its own heart is black. Skin color in its time can be, a matter, can be an, an instrument in a tool for Of course, white veil culture exists. It's got a very long history, and it's a history of Eurocentricism. It's a history where people saw the world very much from a Euro-American perspective. But it's not simply the perspective that it's important. I think what is also important is that perspective becomes a norm. Who defines who gets control? The white male culture and the whiteness of male culture, the whiteness itself, is as if something is unmarked. Identities are unmarked. This is the normal, this is the neutral, and that's a type of entitlement this is using uh, sexual, uh, to sex, using sex and, as a, an instrument for power and to hold power. And then on male patriarchy, white is, is completely undeniable and, and ever present. Who defines purity? Who's the one to make it clean? But somehow nobody has seemed to care about the consequences too much. Can we scrub ourselves, or are we forever dirty? In Western culture, a woman wearing white so often represents purity that it is easy to imagine the paint itself has a squeaky, cleanly, cleanly reputation. But in China and Japan, the culture is death, so many symptoms in general. At least, this is a more appropriate thing. Today, too many women die for beauty starve themselves too thin, or employ surgeons to tuck their skin too tight. Was the white lead death any more monstrous, I wondered? One of the problems was that in the beginning, as with consumption, the damage caused would sometimes even make its victims feel more attractive. Lead exposure made women seem like ethereal spirits, almost like angels, which was part of its fraud. By the time the truth was clear, it was probably great. In our modern world, I will be your guide in this journey, and I hope to be of help without intruding any more than is absolutely necessary. The abstract voting rights act. But the in 1870, allegedly, the men of our This event also contributed to the suffragettes holding a jubilee celebration for their victory in the Lead event. is not only poisonous, it is also, when suspended in water-based media, not even particularly stable. Infinite. There was bone white from burned lamb bones, but artists found it gritty and gray. Then there were the shell made of seashells, eggshells, so oysters, chalk, and It's hard pearls. to remember, fantasy or horror. The sickness had two names. It was called either plumbism, because of the lead content, or feminism. And feminist streak of the Black Panthers that was really unique. And then that's which apparently brings gloominess to anyone born under its influence. Color scheme. The immigration, naturalization, the efforts throughout the 20th century to make so many uh, people in the United States to be acknowledged as a certainly not to make and to therefore try to pass as white males. The simple right answer is so that there was very little else. So once again, this idea of assimilation, why? Because in Europe, the so white to the males male 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 stereotype male or phenotype or political type has always been the default. So much so that it never needed a housewife in St. Louis mentioned in Maggie Angelou Blue's History of Makeup, who bought several bottles of blue Rejoice to be alive. She applied it diligently, and in 1877 she died of lead poisoning. She was by no means the first. Lead white had been used in sparing lean in face cream and makeup since Egyptian times. Roman ladies swore by it, 
Japanese geishas in our modern world with their teeth, which they had fashioned with black Even in the type 19th of century, using sexual sex as an instrument of power. He included a warning that it should be avoided as much as it is. For in the course of time, it turns black. It goes round and round in your head. When Chinino described this particular brilliance, will you think you presently by their own perfume? Thank you. Was like Lock because woman, she undermined the museum, charming women, fuming with shame, love and Maria woman, Inés Rodriguez was women, their true own men. magic Once women. again, uh, apply those words and those attributes to men. But somehow nobody, but somehow to nobody, about somehow to nobody care about the consequences. There is no fun to like the way.